Mike Haley is back wearing 15, Conway reverting to the wing, and the influential Connor Murray returns at scrum half, partnering Joey Carberry. Over the last few weeks and months, this is Morgan. Here's the face. Through the tackle. Knock on from Gloucester, so playing with House Money as it's driven through by Carberry. Thorley, oh, it's a horrible bounce for Thorley. And he's he done very ball, well. And Braley's there to assist. The Fruitless. And he's fired it away into safety. Yeah, you know, Gloucester, you, you see it here, Joey Carberry taking it to the line, nothing on. And just knows that a kick in behind him maybe put pressure on him. When you've guys like Andrew Conway chasing balls like that, he can really make something of him. Fine. Murray. Oh, it's Carberry. Archer. Carberry again. Gloucester standing off for just a split second. Carberry safely on target, three points apiece. Well, just looking at Carberry, he's a player that wants to open the game up. I think at Leinster he got that opportunity, but here at Munster they play a lot tighter. They play well more linked. Instead of having a player on the outside shoulder, they like to run short lines. He looks at the long pass, but knows it's not on, so has to resort to his last resort, which is a kick. So ideally, his mentality is to play a wider game. He wants people in wide space, but the Munster way is short balls, and sometimes the two have got to learn how to marry each other. Murray... To Farrell, three men on top of him. Murray once more, delay on the pass, it's opening up, and in they go. Carberry is in. Monster delirious, and all that pressure, opening up a nice big gap for their fly half. So many excellent carries in the build up to this, and Carberry exploiting the gap when it came. Try last week away to Connacht. And a not too dissimilar one here this evening at King's Home. Gloucester 3, Carberry 10. Let's bring in Jerry Flannery, who of course is the, um, the forwards coach with Munster. Jerry, your assessment of the opening quarter or so. Another wonderful strike from Carberry, who is hungrily gobbling up the points at the moment. Gloucester 3, Munster 13. He's put his side firmly in the driving seat as we head to half-time. Two more from Carberry, who's been word perfect from the tee. And Johan van Graan will reflect on a 40 minutes very effectively done by his side. But they've look like real contenders here tonight that's not the best of starts from Joey Carberry hasn't really put a foot wrong tonight but that is a let off well just looking at Munster's defence and their, in, their intensity and their desire to defend Carberry's a prime example he's not the biggest guy on the field but look how concentrated he is some sides turn off in this scenario we get a penalty they think they're going to kick to the corner his line speed is right off the line and then he makes that hit on Atkinson who is a monster of a guy and drops him, stops him right on the five metre line that then sets the tone for the next four or five phases of your defence well he had his troubles away to cast from the team not so tonight at Kingsholm Carberry adds two more and Keith Earls, the beneficiary of this lovely little offload from Billy Holland. Carberry. The stand up. Lovely bit of footwork from Carberry through the course of this match so far. Lovely bit of work here from Holland to the short side. Carberry pushes it through. Oh, Conway's onto it. And this time, Conway will not be denied. A wonderful chip from Carberry and Conway lightning fast Carberry opens the magician's hat and just pulls out a massive rabbit brilliant piece of skill looks like he's got nowhere to go here on the short side numbered off three on three five on three drops himself onto the left foot and Conway's got bags of pace to get round the outside such good skill look at him inside outside on the left foot 
I tell you what, to make it even easier, I'm going to make the ball pop up right into your hands. Bonus time. The bonus point assured for Munster. And that was pure class from Joey Carberry. Nineteen points for Joey Carberry tonight. And that latest effort, setting up the score for Conway, has probably done for Gloucester now. Well, they go down Muggs Gully, they've got three guys down the short side into five defenders. You think, well, they're going to get smashed here. And he pulls out an absolute piece of genius. Backwards. Gloucester then staring down the barrel. Freddie Clark sets it up. Oh, the intercept. Oh. And they're away. And it's the man of the moment who will crown his evening at Kingsong with a try. Joey Carberry. <laughs> I told you he was better than Sexton. Best player in the world. Smiles better than him. What a performance he's had. He reads this play so early. And we said in the first half, 12 trees doesn't throw him in the first half. Morgan does in the second half, though, and he picks it off straight away. There's no stopping him. Yeah. Overall, incredible bit of skill by Joey Carberry. But I think, you know, Austin hit the point earlier on about... Well, the points tally is frankly greedy at this point for Joey Carberry. Munster had their moments in the glory years with Ronan O'Gara steering the ship. This man, this is the future. Ludlow still throwing himself into the fray. Good bit of work here from Keith Earls. Carberry decides on another awkward little kick. And it's there now for Conway. Has he given it too much? Yes, just. The bench empties and plenty of congratulations for that man who has dictated terms and strutted around Kingsland like Ronan O'Gara used to strut around Tolman.